Hey guys, this is GamerJX, and this is Let's Play Dead Space Episode 10. And in the last episode, I have no fucking clue what's going on because I haven't played in a long fucking time. <gasps> but anyway, I'm really pissed off. You wanna know why I'm so pissed off? Be oh. Because I was doing some editing on these. I do. I go through every episode. I watch it, make sure everything's good, and. To my surprise, at the beginning of the video, I realized, hmm, I can't hear nothing! What is this? Turn the volume up? Nothing. Turn the volume down? Nothing. Throw a computer in the garbage? Nothing. Plug the computer back in? Nothing. Realized, my sound, my sound was fucky, and didn't record the sound, which I did not realize until about, like, an episode and a half into recording, so now, I gotta go back, try and do post commentary on these episodes, which I haven't done in a long time. I don't do post commentary LPs anymore because I like the live commentary feel a lot more, especially with scary games like this. So, <laughs> as you can hear, there's a lot of shit going on right now, and I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? Oh god! I didn't know where the fuck these guys come from. Oh god, there he is. Oh biggie. Oh biggie. <laughs> And I really hate these crawling guys because I, for some reason, I didn't fucking realize there was a guy behind me. And they're all jumping all over the place. I'm just like, oh my god! <laughs> and that guy's just like, Ugh. I'm like, ah! Oh. It's crazy. This room here is terrible because there's freaking enemies all over the place. Holy crap, that's loud. Johnson tits with sausage and some cream cheese. Yeah. But anyway, we'll go back to normal commentary in the next episode, like halfway through. I don't know where I just look over and I'm like, why isn't that not happening? Why is that not recording? Oh, it sucked. Uh, I, just, I was just happy I, I, caught, I caught that before I recorded like a whole session of no sound. <laughs> so yeah, it fucking sucks a big penis. But um, some people ask me to go back to the commentary like I used to do, but I don't know, I don't know why. It's, it wasn't that good. And it's live commentary with LPs is just kind of what you have to do. I don't know many people that do post commentary LPs. Actually, I don't know any. <laughs> people can just lie. They can just say it's live commentary and they believe it. Like some people, I get a lot of questions actually. It's like, do you do live commentary LPs? I'm like, yeah, I do live commentary. Well, like, can you tell when I just go, ah! And everyone's like, oh man, that was really funny. Did you, did you post commentary on that? I'm like, nah, man. I just, nah, commentary. Yeah. But anyway, this LP's going awesome. But the only problem is, I never know what the hell I'm doing because you know why? Because I'm always talking over when these people are, are talking. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <sighs> yeah, but anyway, it's it's still really cute. But um, it's also awesome because I got a lot of awesome comments <clears throat> explaining stuff to me, like what I should be doing, what guns I should get, shit like that. So I've been doing that. It's it's really cute. But um, okay, what am I doing? Don't touch. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I just got a funny story to tell. It happened to me today as of this recording. <laughs> it's fucked up. Uh, so, during my class, I have what you, what would, well, if you guys are in high school, you might know this. I have a double credit class. So, in high school, I have four classes. So, you have four classes per semester. And my class is double credit. So, I have all morning I'm doing this class. And it's my auto class. I work on cars and shit. And halfway between the class, we get a break, which is five minutes, he says. Usually, you know, me and the boys, we go for like, you know, seven, ten minutes, but today, we're ready to go down to the store, which is right beside our school, conveniently, and, um, uh, my friend was gonna buy us stuff, um, and he's like, oh shit, I forgot my wallet, and we're like, oh, we're all disappointed, because we want some food, but then, he's like, well, we can just run down to my house really quick, and we can get the car and drive back. No, he doesn't live that far, like, it's maybe a five to seven minute walk away from the school. So we're like, uh, okay, okay, we'll go, we'll go. Really quick. So we run down to his house, get into the car. We're already about, you know, ten minutes in to this break, so we're already five minutes late. And then we get into the car, we drive halfway back to the school, and then he stops. He's like, oh, fuck, I forgot my wallet, which is the whole reason why we went down there. He turns around, we go all the way back. At this point, we're about fifteen minutes late. We're driving back, we drive to the store, we get our shit, pay for it, go to the side of the school and park. By that time, we are about 20 minutes late. Little did we know, there was actually an assembly at the school at that time, and we go back, and our teacher, I swear to God, he is the Terminator. When you're in trouble, he will find you, no matter what. And here we are, we're walking back into the school, and when we walk up to these doors, like glass windows, and you know, you can see through them. And little did you know, wouldn't you know it, the second we turn a corner, there he is. And he didn't even look at us. He was walking by, and he stopped. 
stood there for a millisecond, turned at us like an, an evil monster. He was like, <laughs> we're like, oh shit! And we're like, oh god, oh god, and we were walking to the door. And he's just standing there waiting for us to get to the door. He doesn't even wait for us to get to the door. He opens the door for us. He's like, where the hell are you guys? We're like, we're hungry! And we didn't have enough time to make an excuse. It's like, you guys get your asses in that goddamn assembly! And for some reason, it sounds like so cool, Steve Austin. And this guy here is just glitching out of the... Uh, really weird. I was, like, I was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing up there? And I was like, oh my god, maybe we can pull him down. He's not gonna come down. And actually, didn't come down. It was crazy. Anyway. Yeah, so that was kind of uh, freaky. I thought for sure I was gonna get huge shit for that. He just sends us right into that assembly, which was fucking terrible, by the way. I hate assemblies. That's why I never go to them. Usually, we just end up skipping them. We just leave. Just go go somewhere until it's over. But anyway. Yeah, so that, that was something that happened to me today. It kind of sucked. And uh, when we get back in the class, he actually didn't say anything to us. I think he just kind of forgot about it. I don't know. He's a weird fucking teacher. I'm not going to lie. <gasps> but Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird. Oh, there he is. Man, I, I'm seriously, I'm rusty when it comes to post-commentary. The only thing I post-commentary is, is Call of Duty. Uh, because usually... When I play Call of Duty, I'm focused. I don't talk a lot. So that's why I don't do a lot of live commentary stuff, even though... Uh, the wager matches were pretty fun, but... Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm loving Dead Space. I just hating that my fucking recording, all my freaking crap always fucks up when I'm trying to do stuff. It just pisses me off. And, uh, I'm telling you, like, so rather if it's not recording, then the voice is not recording. It's like one of the fucking others. Like, it can't ever just be, like, just work for me? You know, come on. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, and it's almost my birthday. Uh, my birthday is April 2nd. So I don't know when this video is going to go up. Rather, it'll probably be... It might be after. It might be before. So I don't know. Uh, I'll be 18. Oh, buddy. The big 8. 1-8. One 1-8. Eight, one eight. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an awesome weekend. Can't wait. Uh, so now we're going to upgrade some stuff. Actually, I don't because what um, someone told me in a comment is you want to keep a power node on you at all times because then you can open other doors that you can't actually open and they have a lot of shit in there that you want, like ammo and health and crap like that. So it's always good to keep a power node with you, which I didn't know at the time. So I didn't actually ever know that until he told me. So I was like, oh, buddy, doing it. So now I carry a power node with me at all times and now I can open doors and crap and so on. And then uh, another thing someone told me is that I, I want to up upgrade my rig which is like your health and uh, hit points. Well, it's called hit points, and that's actually health, so it determines how many hits you can take before you die, which is actually really, really needed at the moment, because usually when I get hit, it's like two hits, and I'm already down into like the yellow, so it kind of sucks. Geek, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, I probably want to start upgrading that, and also I want to start upgrading, once I, um, someone told me that the pulse rifle is really good, so I'll probably go buy that later and upgrade it hopefully and hopefully it's good. I don't know, when I played it the first time I, I didn't like it that much. Um, the only guns I really ever used were the line gun, the, 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 what the fuck is it called, whatever the one with the buzzsaw on it, and um, the plasma uh, thing that you get at the beginning of the game, so it's really the only ones I ever used. The other ones I just kind of like, oh god, that, that creeped the shit out of me when I I look in there and I saw that guy just standing there, I was like, oh, oh my god. And I wish I didn't lose the commentary for this, because it was actually golden, man, I'm telling you. It was good. This is probably shit compared to what the fuck it was. It was awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a good episode. And then two episodes later, I'm just like, I wasn't fucking recording the voice that whole time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Piss me off. Piss me off, I'm telling you. Oh, he <laughs> got trophy. Thing is, I already gotten like the trophies that I'm probably gonna get in the selfie. I already got them before, but since I changed my hard drive in my PS3, like I had a 40 gig before, and then I went and bought a new hard drive. I got like a, I got like a, a 250 gig, I think I got more, or a 350. I don't know. Like, some ridiculous. Like it's when you go to the store and you want like just a small hard drive. I only want like 120. Like, well, if you get the 350, it's actually only like five dollars more. I was like, you know, you. You know, I'm never gonna use 350 gigs on that PS3, I hope. I don't know. No, 40 was not enough, I'll tell you that. Five games and I was like full. Because, like, fucking Uncharted 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4 take up, like, 7 million gigs themselves. It sucks. Anyway. Ugh, I'm carrying a lot of fucking smash. And this part, I was, like, trying to figure out, like, oh, why do I have so many fucking stupid blades for him? I'm like, oh, <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, yeah, 
It's like, ah, man. Oh, and today I also, I usually like when I'm. When I have classes with my friends, we all like compete for like the highest mark. It's not a nerdy thing or anything. It's just bragging rights, you know. Like usually we don't all get high marks anyway. It's usually like mid seventies, low seventies, and stuff like that. But um, got my test back for uh, my small engines class. Oh, 92 percent. You know, not a big deal. Uh, yeah, it's cute. So um, I beat my friend on that finally. But there's always one friend, he always beats me by like a percentage, or a, per or a half a percentage, like the worst one yet. I was like, oh, but he got 78%, he's like, I got 78, I'm like, fuck you, fuck you in the ass. And one time, I was like, oh, but he, 85, he's like, 85 and a half, I'm like, oh, fuck you, fuck you, like, asshole. Yeah, that's usually how it kind of works. Kind of sucks, but, oh, uh, it's cute. Ugh. Oh, fuck, okay. Never mind. I'm, like, leaving my house in a few minutes to go watch a hockey game. It's gonna be good game, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The worst thing about this game is turning fucking corners. I swear to God. Every time I turn a corner, I'm like, No, I can't. No, I can't. I don't want to turn a corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this, uh, zero G, or... This is zero G plus the air thing, which kind of sucks. I don't really like the non-air thing. It's really cool, like how the sound is. It's like completely silent. Um, I just don't like the fucking having that breathe. Oh, and this I might might as well explain it because I was explaining it in the normal commentary, which I don't usually do. I don't like usually explain things how to do them. But here you want to be hiding behind those things when you see like those. It's asteroids hitting the ship, and you do not want to be out there when they're crashing in the ship. So what you want to do is when it's clear, you run to one of these things, hide behind it. And for, for some reason, I just fucking go for it, because I was trying to think at this time. I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this part. It fucking sucks, because I remember the first time I did it, I ran right out, and it was dead. You're dead. You just explode. So it was pretty the thing. But, uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do. Just fucking take your time. Go behind these things. There's no enemies going up there, but on the way back, there'll be some enemies. And it sucks a big penis. Oh, jeez. Sucks too, cause I gotta do post commentary for the next episode, like half of it, which is gonna be weird. So I'm gonna have to cut out, and, but I don't know how it's gonna fucking work. Ugh, nothing works out. It sucks. Oh god. <laughs> With some cheese on it, but um, yeah. Well, we're almost there, and then I realize once I get through that door, I realize there's a part that I'm probably not gonna like very much, but eh, it went okay. It went okay. It's not, it's not it's bad. It's funny. It's funny. But. And here we go, we've all made it. And when I got in there, I was like, oh no, it's this part, I'm gonna call it episode Cause I saw that chair, I was like, oh, it's that part. But uh, I'm not gonna talk about it until the next episode, because it's part of the next episode, because I'm doing this episode. So I'm right. Yeah, I got some line right, I can't pick him up. Oh god, if I knew how badly I need him later on, I'd fucking force him in there somehow. Get rid of those blades or something. Stupidity. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole episode. Sorry again that I had to do post commentary, not live commentary, but it's not my fault. My computer sucks. But I'm gonna save it, and I guess that's an episode. And I will see. Oh, there we are. I'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.